Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to look at Bunky Barlet, a Wiccan who won $33 million after taxes in the Maryland lottery. And not only did he win the lottery jackpot, but he won it using the law of attraction, amongst some of his other beliefs. But let's give this interview a watch, and then afterwards, or even before, We'll talk about some lessons and how he did it. So enjoy. So when you bought the tickets, um, did you believe that you were going to win or what was it that, or was it just, you had no idea you were totally shocked? Oh, I always believed I would win. Okay. Did you that's have, what actually made it, that's what actually made the ability to win was anytime I played the lottery, Every time I bought a ticket, I always said, yay, I've won, mm -hmm. and basically proceeded in that fashion. Great. So you actually told yourself, with the ticket in your hand, before the draw, I've already won this? Correct. And did you, it sounds like you didn't buy tickets that often, but did you no. win other prizes before this? Oh, yeah. I used to, little, nothing big. You know, you'd get the $2 win and that kind of stuff. And I would always hold on to the $2 ticket until the next time I actually played and would actually cash it in and then use that money to buy new, more tickets. So you're using like lucky money. <laughs> right. You, you mentioned that you, when you're holding the ticket, you already believed that you were going to win. And one of the, the listeners actually emailed and wanted to know if you used any visualization techniques. Um, and if so, did you focus on winning the jackpot itself or on just what the money, what that amount of money would do for you and how it would change your life? Actually, every time that I thought about the lottery, I would always envision what my life would be like after I won. And one of the biggest things that I always envisioned was, you know, what my house would be like, where I would live, um, what type of things would I be doing would I travel? Would I, you know, teach? Would I do this? And that's one of the things that, you know, for me, I think it's the visualization and holding on to those and actually believing that they can come true helps to bring that about. It's the focus and it's the belief that can actually make things happen. But you also can't just sit on your butt. Mm -hmm, for sure. Uh, well, obviously, if you hadn't bought a ticket, you never would have won. Like you said, exactly. it was a, totally, a total fluke. But when you were um, expecting this money to come your way and visualizing your house and things like that, did you were you certain it was going to come from the lottery or were you just open to the universe providing it to you in whatever way it manifested? Open to the universe however it wanted to manifest. Because in actuality, in January, before I won, January of that year, of last year, I had started my own business and I was working toward manifesting that myself through hard work, you know, that kind of thing. And it was going really well. I was becoming very successful with my own accounting firm and it was going forward. And then in September, eight months later, after I started the accounting business, I won the lottery. Nice. So, so you can't just, when you, when you want something, you can't just sit and wait for it to happen. You still have to work, have a plan. And then the universe says, Okay, well, they're giving it a shot. How about we give them a push? And to me, that's what the universe did. It said, okay, here's what we have. He's doing it, so let's just give him a helping hand. So there you have it, guys. He talked about belief. He talked about visualization. He talked about how he would visualize what his life would look like after. The car he would have, the house he would have, the life that he would have afterwards. And he was also, which is very important, open to the money coming through any avenue. The money didn't have to come from the lottery, but that didn't stop him from playing the lottery. You see, I think it's good to not only give the intention for winning the lottery, but also be open for it to come in another way. If you get a business idea, act on it. If you get an app idea or a job idea or whatever, act on it. And be open and receptive to any avenue the universe chooses to bring the money to you. 
And like you said, you can't really visualize and lay on your bed all day. You still have to go buy the ticket. You still have to start the business. You still have to do the things needed in order for it to come into your life. So what have we learned here? We learned again, like always, that what you believe with persistence will manifest into your life through the law of attraction or through what we call the law of attraction because we don't know what it is really. That's just the name we use, but it happens. We know that an intention or visualization of something will manifest into your life if you do it long enough and if you do it consistently. And we learned to be open for the ways that the money can come. Be open for it to come in any avenue, through any source, and be receptive to the universe to bring it in a way that you may not have thought about. And be open to that. And this, my friends, is what Bunky Barlett did. So you can say he has his Wiccan beliefs. We all have our beliefs. Some of us believe in God and some of us believe in Wiccan beliefs and some of us are atheists and some of us believe in the simulation. We all have our own beliefs and that's perfectly fine. Your belief, whatever specific to you, will help you manifest. Because whatever you believe, you'll manifest. If you believe an orange on your bed or in your kitchen will help you manifest the lottery, and you really believe it, you will, and it will. If you believe in God, or if you believe in Wiccan, or Wicca, or whatever, or astrology, or tarot cards, if you really believe in those, that's fine, and they will work for you. So figure out your belief, and make it work for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have someone else who had won the lottery, or who came into a lot of money, or manifested their dream life, comment down below. And until next time, thank you for watching.